what's up? Yeah, that's why I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna give you some Dawn, see if that Dawn takes it off. Shouts out to Window Joe, recommending the Dawn on the brush. We'll see how that works. All right, so we got this greenhouse today. We've been getting a lot of window cleaning work lately. Um, greenhouse, pretty dirty windows. We got the whole ceiling in there, roof, the whole, every glass, all the glass. Now these little panes here, can't really get those with a squeegee unless you make like a little one inch squeegee or something <laughs> but uh we'll just use like sea foam or uh spray away i'll show you what that looks like let me grab this dawn for you everyone gets actually we'll use this i haven't used this in forever Mormon soap. I'm a GG4 guy, so I don't use it much. But here's the stuff for awkward windows. Uh oh, this can's empty. Sprayway glass cleaner. Stuff works awesome. Let's get you your blue hot towel. Wow, that landed in there perfect. Ready? Yeah. That's a special soap, so hopefully that'll do it. But I don't know. There's something about Dawn. Wow, look what you did now. Look what you did now. That's a ride up, just so you know. Let's go see how that soap's working. Oh, this ladder's wobbly, bro. You actually stood on this thing? This ladder is wobbly. Yeah. Ooh, that's a crispy shot right there. So how's that soap working? Really well. It's taking everything right off? Yeah. I want to put a third on here. It's good enough. That's so awesome. We're not even using a scrub head. He's just throwing soap on it. It's eating it right up. So again, shouts out to Window Joe. If y'all don't follow him on YouTube, you should. He's got a lot of good window cleaning, tricks, tips, and more. I didn't even know this was a gutter right here. All right, so as much as I just want to keep filming, I guess I should actually start doing some work. So, that's that. <laughs> So update on the greenhouse. We've wasted quite a bit of time this morning. Just like every job, man. I swear, every freaking job always goes real rough in the morning because uh, it's always like trial and error trying to figure out what's going to work. Up in here, I was really, I was legitimately thinking with all the beams and stuff, I could do ladder placement and clean the la clean the windows from the ladder on the roof or the ceiling inside this greenhouse. It's just not happening. I tried. It takes too much time. It's very difficult. It's a hard angle. It's so. Long story short. We're gonna end up renting a scissor lift, uh, 160 bucks a day. Um, I'm gonna rent it for one day, I'm gonna rent it for tomorrow, and we'll do the inside of this and the top of this roof with the water-fed pole. It's gonna be easier to be on a scaffold and hit it with the water-fed pole than trying to hold a pole out super long on a ladder and, you know, so forget that. So our plan now is we're gonna do the, the sides. Oh, also, there's gutters up here, so we, we don't have to worry about water dripping down, so that's nice. Um, our plan is he's hitting the tops there, the weird shaped windows with the water fed pole. I'm gonna come behind with the traditional squeegee and hit the curved window and the window below. And we're just gonna rock it out all the way around and we'll do the inside. Call it a day, go pick up the lift and come back tomorrow to finish this up. We're still in the green profit wise, so even though I had to make this purchase, but it's necessary, there's no way around it. We'll just end up wasting more and more time. I think it's already like 11 o'clock, so it's a big bummer, but I'm pretty confident we'll get 
the sides done. So that'll be good. <music> kind of go on a little bit of a rant i'm gonna beat this quick because i gotta get back to work but um you know making this channel i get a lot of people reaching out asking me questions about how to do this how to price this how to do this how to do that um and then they mention you know they haven't gone out and canvassed or anything they haven't tried to get a job they haven't done anything because they're so obsessed with making sure that everything is in order they're like you know, I got my business name registered, I got a tax ID number, I got business insurance, I got a, you know, I got my water, I got all these things and you haven't even gotten a job yet. And it blows my mind because you need to just get out there and do it. You know, sometimes people are just trying to be so, they're, they're doing too much. They're, you know, you're, you're trying to make sure everything is perfect, everything is in order before you make a move. And the reality is you're, you're scared to make a move. So you're trying to think of every single excuse possible to actually get out there and do it. Um, we've never done a greenhouse before. So I, I was kind of wondering how we we're gonna do this, but you know, there's a bunch of beams and stuff. So I was, convi I was thinking we could probably just put a ladder up there on the beam and hit it with the ladder and go on about our day. But it just wasn't gonna work out that way. There's no way. So what I do, I realize about 11 o'clock, wow we wasted a lot of time trying to do this um let's do let's make another plan um i had colt doing the roof and stuff i was like we got to think of another plan so i called the re lift rental place they can rent me a lift 160 bucks i'll pick it up tomorrow you or i'll pick it up this evening and rent it for a day use it all day tomorrow and bring it back to them um you know and i'll have a chance to play around with it and stuff at my house make sure i get all the controls figured out Anyway, um, my point is just, you gotta, you know, realize you're just doing window cleaning or you're just doing soft washing, you're just power washing. There is a lot of things you gotta know about it, but there's things you just have to get out there and learn for yourself. You know, and pricing is a big thing. You just gotta, um, you learn by working and doing the jobs and then real, you know, taking kind of mental notes and realizing, wow, we could have done this faster. Wow, if we would have prepared for this, we would have zoomed through this. Wow, we wasted a lot of time in the morning doing this, that, and the other. We need to prepare more. So you start to learn how you can be more efficient. And then you're like, okay, now I can price, you know, I can realistically say we're as efficient as possible, you know, and I want to make X amount of dollars an hour. But you can't say, let's say you want to make $100 an hour. You can't bid a job 800 bucks when realistically it's like a $400 job just because you're slow and you and you know, you know what I mean so there's going to be that learning curve where you're not making $100 an hour or whatever your dollar goal is um there's that curve yo there's the curve so just keep that in mind I just I, I always I, I just want to push people just jump man just jump just go out there and get a little storefront window cleaning job get you some business cards and go learn how to like communicate with people and try to sell a job sell sell yourself and pick up on the things that went wrong you know maybe like they thought you know maybe they shut down quick or you said you know you'll 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 learn you'll be like wow I could have done this I could have offered this I could have you know you'll get it but you just got to get out there yo all right, I'm going to get back to work. I'm done being philosophical, Mr. John Lang. Peace.